Okay, so now as you can see, the drone flies parallel with the building. And as it flies, it takes pictures. Hello. So we all know that capturing facades for buildings is becoming increasingly important, whether it's to do with inspections or whether it's to do with ensuring that the design meets the build. Facade inspections are a thing and they're here to stay. However, when it comes to capturing facades with drones, one of the common problems is how do we make sure that our drone is actually capturing the right facade? How do we actually do the mission planning so that we have our drone's flight path aligned with the building properly? Because as we all know, planning on a map which is flat can be quite challenging. So in this particular video, what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at both the in-office and the on-site workflow on how to do facade inspections using drones. And then we're also going to look at the data at the very end. So, so feel free to watch till the very end to, to, to have an understanding of how it all works. Uh, so we're going to be capturing today uh, a particular facade in uh, in Europe where you go, you've got not only the facade to capture, but also to make sure that you avoid these wires that essentially come out of the facade. We're going to be having Dan, who's going to be helping us with the on-site workflow, and uh, we'll in the end put together everything in one in the, in in, a, in one sequence. So let's have a look. So we're going to be using Hammer Missions for this project. Um, and so what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to set up my facade flight plan. So I've got uh, Hammer Missions loaded up and I've got a mission file where I've got the map loaded up. And this is essentially on uh, the desktop computer. So the goal here is to create a rough flight plan for the building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my missions menu and I'm going to choose facade mapping. Once I've done that, I can drop two points uh, on the corner of the building. Um, so essentially drop these two points uh, and try to sort of uh, align them on the Google map, but it doesn't really matter because this would all change uh, on the site anyway. Uh, what you do that next is to go ahead into the settings uh, and choose the camera you're gonna be flying with. You're gonna be flying this with a Mavic 2 Pro, uh, but increasingly we are finding that the Mavic 3 Enterprise is becoming the go-to platform for facade inspections. Uh, we're going to, we can choose whether you want to fly width first and height first. In this mission, we're going to be flying both to capture data in both directions. Uh, we can set up uh, uh, a top altitude uh, for the mission. This is, again, a rough estimate and a bottom altitude for the mission, which is also a rough estimate. Now, these are just rough estimates and they will be changed on site. Gimbal angle is going to be looking straight up. Horizontal distance is about 10 meters from the building. Uh, and overlap is going to be 70% or more. Um, and then the flight speed is going to be automatic calculated for us. Um, and uh, that sets up most of our mission. So uh, we can sort of see the mission over here. We can also do a little simulation to sort of see what that looks like, uh, both in 2D and 3D, uh, to give us a feel for what we're going to expect uh, on site. Um, but with that, we are done with our mission planning workflow in the office. We can sort of see how many images there will be, how many batteries there will be. And I can send this mission plan to the app. And from here onwards, it's the app either running on the smart controller of DJI or the Android tablet connected to the DJI drone or whatever drone you're using uh, to be able to actually capture the facade. Um, with this, we're going to transition into the on-site workflow. So today we will film the facade of this building and uh, we have to take care of these uh, cables that are around five meters above the ground. So the drone won't, won't uh, descend more than five meters. And we will start from up, down, and also from left to right, to be more precise. Okay, so we are taking off. We have to be careful not to touch those cables. Let's see the exposure that we have. Okay, the exposure is good for the building. Let's see how high those, uh, those cables are. So we will descend a drone and we will look on the on the app where it says height and it's an age and the height is around 
10 meters. So that means we have to click on this cog. Top altitude, 10 meters, okay, which is bottom altitude, bottom altitude 10 meters. Let's see the height of the building. We have to look on the camera and we see now the, the towers also and this is the height of the building. Actually it's more here but we have to also capture the towers. So height is 21 meters so top altitude 21 meters. Let's just put 22 to be sure. Okay, done. Now we have to look down. Go more up. We have to find the left corner of the building. Which is... Exactly here. So now we are perpendicular with the camera to the ground. And the corner is here. So this is where the drone is. And we have to take this corner and position it on top of the drone icon. Okay. Now we have to go on, on the other side, the other corner. Okay. And we have to position the other corner on top of the drone. Okay, so now we are aligned. Image overlap 70%, which is fine. Horizontal distance is how close to the building the drone will fly. And let's say 10 meters is fine. So now that we aligned the corners of the building, which is this one and this one with the actual corners on the map, we have to set up how far the drone will fly from the building which is uh, horizontal distance. The minimum height, actually the bottom height is nine meters because of those cables. And the top altitude is 21 meters because that's how the building uh, tall is. Okay, so now as you can see, the drone flies parallel with the building and as it flies, it takes pictures.
Thank you, Dan. That was some really interesting flying and capturing the data. Um, so now that we have the data captured, what we've done is we've uploaded all the images into Hammer Mission's data analysis tab. Uh, so you can sort of see all the thumbnails that indicate the images that were captured. Uh, I can also sort of bring up the images uh, on uh, on over here. Uh, so sort of this cloud of points that you see in front of the building is essentially what the drone flew and took images uh, on site. Um, so essentially, uh, the facade of the building was reconstructed, as you can sort of see in Hammer Missions. And uh, and now that we have a digital copy of the facade, we can do our inspection. So already, if I'm an architect or an engineer and I'm looking at the integrity of this building, I can sort of see, well, actually, there's some stuff going on on the top. So I can just click on any point uh, on the facade model. And that essentially brings me those particular bits and pieces off the building through the actual image where I can zoom in on the right and I can sort of see what that looks like. And um, essentially I can go ahead and then create annotations. So for example, if I wanted to sort of mark this up as uh, potential cracks, I can essentially do that. And then that sort of gets saved in the platform. Uh, what's also interesting is that all the annotations, all the images with annotations get marked up. And we can not only mark the images using um, manual marking, but we can also use AI. So when we process the data, we can choose to have AI based image tagging. So essentially all of the data gets tagged up with the right defects. And because it's all in the cloud, you can now share this with other stakeholders. So you can bring your clients into this mission, um, into this uh, data project. You can bring other stakeholders into the data project um, and uh, collaborate on what needs to be done next with that building. So. In summary, this was a very quick, both off-site and on-site workflow for facade inspections. If you have any comments for us, do leave them in the comment section below. And uh, please do let us know what you thought about this video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video for Knowledge Hub.